Corini bacterium diphtheria. In this, we will talk about uh, diphtheria, which is a disease caused by Corini bacterium diphtheria. Now, this is a pathogenic bacterium responsible for diphtheria disease, and it is also known as Klebs and Loeffler bacillus. This because it was discovered in 1884 by a German scientist Klebs and a French scientist Loeffler. That's why it is also known as Klebs Loeffler bacillus. Now, diphtheria toxin is very much dangerous because it affects the or alters the protein function going on in the host immune system by simply inactivating the elongation factor 2. This leads to pharyngitis or the formation of false membrane in the throat. And this false membrane is also known as pseudomembrane. Now, if you talk about the genomics of Corini bacterium diphtheria, then the gene is encoded by a bacteriophage. The bacteria that attacks the viruses is known as, is known as bacteriophage and it is found in the toxigenic strains. They have the ability to integrate into bacterial chromosome. So from here you can judge the uh, ability of the action of bacteriophage because they have the ability to integrate into the bacterial chromosome. Now if we look at the gram staining view of Corini bacterium diphtheria, it is gram positive and it is highly polymorphic means that it appears purple in color under light microscope after performing gram staining and they have the ability to keep on changing its morphology. Special stains are available for the identification of Corani bacterium diphtheria. These are Albert stain, Ponder stain and for the demonstration of metachromatic granules, these stains are specially designed. Now, metachromatic granules are formed in the polar region and the selective media that we usually use for Corini bacterium diphtheria are the Loeffler's medium. Now, the toxigenic strain caused the disease diphtheria by multiplying secreting toxins in the skin as well as in the nasopharyngeal tract. Now, if we look at the genetics of the toxins, they are proteolytic cleaved into two fragments. One is the fragment A and the other one is fragment B. Uh, a minor terminal or N terminal fragment A is a catalytic domain, while the fragment B is a transmembrane and receptor binding domain. Now, the function of fragment A is to catalyze the NAD-dependent uh, ADP ribosylation of elongation factor 2, thus inhibiting the protein synthesis of protein functions in the eukaryotic cells. Iske alawa, the function of fragment B is to bind to the receptors present on the immune cell surface Jiski vajese fragment A easily penetrate kar jata hai into the cell cytosol. Now this is a single circular chromosome that has a size of 2.5 mega base pair but it has no plasmids. It can be inhaled, ingest uh, easily and even through inoculation lab hazards can occur. It can be transmitted by a direct contact with the infected person or with the carriers. Now, we have already talked about the pseudomembrane formed by Corini bacterium diphtheria. If we look at its anatomy, it is grayish white membrane lesion that involves the tonsil, pharynx, and the nasal mucosa. So, systemic squalae are associated with the production of diphtheria toxin as well. For treating diphtheria, licensed vaccines are available which are in EPI program now in Pakistan and for handling such type of infectious agents, we use biosafety level 2 practice.